hello guys uh, we are going to create this landscape deformation system in this video uh, it uh, looks like this first uh, let's add the material for this la uh, landscape like uh, snow uh, I will download the snow material from Quix Quixel Bridge. Let's search the snow. Uh, uh, looks like I'm having a uh, bad internet connection so i have a previous download this uh, snow material so let's add it yeah uh, and let's connect this to snow normal and the base color let's connect this normal to here and snow color to here uh, let's my multiply the same uh, snow texture from like uh, this gray amount like and connect it to here and just delete the red color now and let's add the landscape uh, Layer for add uh, mapping scale like five and connect to uh, this UV amounts so it will get rid of some tiling events. So now we have this snow material, so it stores the player footprints so let's add this uh, let's create uh, uh, deform material from a virtual height field measures so before doing that we need to enable uh, virtual texture support of our project uh, let's uh, enable this virtual texture support and it will show this restart button so but uh, don't restart uh, we need to add another plugin as virtual height field mesh and now restart now uh, let's add some uh, mountains uh, this landscape uh, uh, that's enough now uh, we need to create uh, runtime virtual textures for uh, store uh, height and the material so to do that uh, let's create Runtime virtual textures RVT height and duplicate it and rename as RVT material. Uh, open this RVT height and change the virtual texture content as world height and save it and save, uh, save all and then. 
uh, in this uh, landscape material uh, we need to uh, uh, output uh, to a render uh, runtime virtual texture let's add this uh, virtual text output and make this as use material attributes and let's make material attributes and let's connect this normal also to here and connect to here and break these material attributes and connect base color to runtime virtual texture outputs base color and connect specular and roughness normal and get this specular and multiply it uh, uh, height like uh, what is the height uh, we, we have used before uh, to here 15 let's add 15 or just uh, use the height amount from the material parameter collection 15 and add the Height to here also uh, this is the M the check material and add it to here also the, our landscape material right right yeah Now, uh, let's multiply it from this uh, one minus six, and then and uh, absolute world position to here and mark it uh, from blue channel uh, it returns a uh, set value and add it here and return as world height Um, now let's draw a uh, virtual textures from our uh, landscape uh, draw in virtual textures let's add two and add this rvt height and rvt material And then let's add the uh, runtime virtual texture volume to the level and uh, sometimes we cannot this uh, use this set bounds button so we need to uh, scale it to match it our landscape so let's create it manually mm, let's add 51,000 or something yeah let's see from right side also we need the height 
like thousand. Yeah, that's enough. And set the search to pixel like height and rename it as uh, VTV height and just duplicate it and rename it as a VTV material and set this RVT material to here save it and then uh, let's add the virtual height field next to here and copy the location of this RVTV height and paste it to here and the uh, scale also copy and paste to the virtual height field mesh and then add the uh, virtual texture as rvtv height and build the map texture to here show it let's remove this app hidden in the editor yeah we have our height field mesh what is our height 15 let's make it as uh, 20 Right. Yeah, twenty five is enough. And let's create the material for our this uh, high field mesh. Uh, go to material folder and let's create the material like in virtual high field HM landscape we need the uh, one time virtual texture sample from RVT material and connect the base color and normal just to check uh, and connect the material I think uh, there is some issue. Let me check. So I found the issue. The issue was uh, 
when I am checking the uh, level from the left side in our material uh, we don't have the same location as the height uh, let's copy the uh, location for the material and uh, paste it uh, yeah uh, now we have we don't have the that uh, black color uh, we have this uh, height mesh so uh, we have the base color right here and let's just uh, copy this uh, color to our height field mesh and just multiply it from the base color and copy this node uh, from the absolute pole position start and end end this this one minus x node and just copy and paste it to our uh, virtual height field mesh material and then uh, add the linear interpolate uh, node and just uh, it's connected to the alpha and connect the base color to here Uh, base color to here and this is to here let's check it's working almost yeah it's working and it is storing uh, footprints also with the darker color so let's add the uh, Well, position of set. So let's connect this uh, offset to world position offset. We cannot just connect this, uh, we need some uh, modifications. So let's multiply it from our uh, parameter collection site. collection parameter and mpc capture and the height let's uh, multiply it from the height and let's add another multiply node and add vertex normal ws node and connect the world position offset Uh, now you can see uh, we can uh, deform the snow but we have some uh, offset because uh, our feet is not showing uh, to fix that uh, in the this landscape material uh, we have to uh, disconnect this height from the multiplication and let's uh, just add one Oh, file. Yeah, uh, now that's okay. Uh, now, uh, this landscape deformation works fine. and that's it for today guys uh, thank you all for watching my video and uh, see you guys in the next video